and welcome back. So I'm starting today's video with camel riding experience. Camel yeah. riding in the Dubai desert was an experience like no other. The moment I stepped onto the back of the camel, I felt I was stepping back in time. Camels were a mode of transportation that was used in many regions for centuries. For me, it was a reminder of the simple things of life and traditions that continue to thrive even in these modern times. As the camel plodded the powdery hot sand, swaying this way and that way, I couldn't help but admire the resilience of these animals that were perfectly created to adapt to arid environments. God is really good. As the ride continued, I reflected on the historical significance of camels. Do you know that camels were often used for carrying people, goods and even water, making long distance trade and travel possible? Do you also know that in biblical times, owning camels was a sign of wealth and status? Camels are mentioned in various biblical stories. For example, camels were very integral to the story of Joseph and his brothers when the brothers traveled to Egypt to buy grain during a time of famine. Camels were also part of the gifts presented to Joseph when his brothers went to Egypt to seek assistance. Historically, camels allowed various groups of people to move with their possessions and livestock from one place to another. Guys, we've just finished riding on a camel. It was such an awesome... That was good! It was such an awesome experience, honestly. This is Dubai 2023. An experience like no other. I've never been on a camel before. I've never been in a desert like this before. So, I'm so excited! So the next day, after a beautiful breakfast, we set out to Dubai Mall. It's a massive, massive mall. And one thing I realized, it's not just for shopping. It's like uh, an entertainment complex too. So from the moment we stepped into the mall, we were greeted by a huge transparent viewing panel of the Dubai Aquarium. Now, the sheer size of this underwater spectacle was both inspiring and educational. So what the transparent panel does is that it allows visitors like me to observe marine life in a large enclosed tank. And um, you can see here, the staff responsible for feeding the fish in the Dubai Mall Aquarium, they are very skilled. And I think they are well choreographed events for visitors so we are here we are watching what is going on but i think these professionals follow a carefully planned feeding uh, system so that the fish can receive the appropriate diet and nutrition <laughs> to walk through the tunnel or go to the underwater zoo on this short visit but viewing through this transparent panel was enough it left me with a deep reference for the creatures that live in the oceans it left me with a, a deep appreciation of god you know the way he created things and the way he gave people wisdom to use what he created to to inspire people and then again when i think that dubai many years ago or should i say a few years ago was a sparsely uh, undeveloped desert region in the united arab emirates just before the oil boom transformed it it used to be referred to as a no man's land you know and then um, in the mid 20th century when oil reserves were discovered and then it led to urbanization development economic growth that has now turned Dubai into a global business and tourism hub because they used their brain, they used their brain, they used their talent, they used what they had, you know. I was just getting carried away there, but the system in this particular place 
we went to in Dubai shows that when you have a common goal, when you have an intention, when you work together as a team without cheating each other, without cheating the system, you achieve more and you actually gain more in the long run. So we continued uh, walking up and down. Dubai Mall is nothing short of extraordinary. The scale of the mall is massive. You can't visit all the shops in one day. We didn't even get to cover the first floor. Is that massive? So as we wandered through the sprawling corridors, we were met with a dazzling array of high-end boutiques and international brands. I'm not a shopper, and even if I go shopping, I like to go shopping in smaller shops and places that are not so huge. My legs were getting tired and my eyes were dizzy. I had to look for somewhere to sit and rest. Do you know? I didn't realize I had taken a short nap until a female security guard tapped me on the shoulder. She asked if I was okay. I said yes. She said, sleeping is not allowed here. <laughs> I didn't know whether to laugh at myself for having a short nap, but I found her statements very interesting. One thing the security guard did not realize was that that five minutes nap was the most powerful nap I had had in a long, long time. One of the standout moments for me was witnessing the captivating Dubai Fountain Show. The Dubai Fountain Show Lake is in the heart of the city, right next to the iconic Burj Khalifa and the Dubai Mall. The show is a spectacular choreographed performance of water, lights and music. First of all, the crowd gathered in anticipation, waiting for the show to begin. And then, with the iconic Burj Khalifa towering in the backdrop, the Dubai Fountain came to life. Dubai came to an end. 
I knew I was going to miss this beautiful city. It was a journey that blended luxury, tradition, adventure, and definitely relaxation, and one that left me with memories I will cherish for a lifetime. Next time I'll visit, I'll visit the gold and spice soaks, the museum, and other beautiful places as well. So as I bid farewell to Dubai, I know that this city has left me with a longing to return someday. Have you been to Dubai before? Have you lived in Dubai before? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And I will definitely see you next time. Bye-bye.